It's clear to me that when it comes to this congressional district, people are looking for another option. In a nearly two-minute video on Twitter, former Mayor Bill de Blasio officially dropping out of the race for the 10th Congressional District. The newly redrawn map includes Lower Manhattan and Brooklyn neighborhoods like Red Hook, Sunset Park, and Park Slope, where de Blasio lives and where we found mixed views. I felt like he was underrated as a mayor. People generally seem to complain a lot um, with a lot of the attacks were more cartoonish things that people that, that were lodged at him. He did a pretty terrible job in his eight years. I'm not sure how he got reelected. Um, I don't know why he tried to decide, decided to run for Congress. Pretty bad move. Uh, I saw he dropped out today. Uh, good move. It's been a crowded field of candidates for New York 10, and de Blasio has consistently been polling near the bottom. While de Blasio had name recognition, he left office as one of the most unpopular mayors in New York City history. Hunter College Public Policy Director Basil Smichel. It must be a little embarrassing for him to have pulled out of a congressional race, but it's probably not as embarrassing as having lost a primary uh, to young uh, elected officials. De Blasio's mayoral legacy is complicated. While his successes are universal pre-K, the expansion of city bikes and the New York City waterways, as well as a commitment to Vision Zero, there were struggles as well. Homelessness, the condition of NYCHA buildings, the controversial mental health initiative Thrive NYC, his handling of the return to school during the pandemic, and his run for the presidency. Just a combination of not having a clear policy message after universal pre-K was completed, um, being uh, viewed to be soft on crime, running for president, and having such a lackluster candidacy um, I, I, is what New Yorkers will probably remember him for. And then there were the gaffes the self proclaimed Red Sox fan will be remembered for, like when he ate pizza very unlike a New Yorker, and when he dropped the Staten Island groundhog, who later died of internal injuries. And a lot of voters didn't get the sense that his, that his heart was, was fully in it.